One of the more common requests we get is for salespeople to be able to manage their CRM follow-ups and prospects within Autoplay's sales pipeline. In response, we've created a screen called the Prospect and CRM Follow-Up, which lets users complete activity like 12-month follow-ups or prospecting, such as end of finance contact. With DMS integration, we can get sent every follow-up you need to do, whether it's pre or post sale. These appear within the new screen to be completed when they're due. Each follow-up has a bit of info about what you need to complete, as well as any vehicle the customer might have. If the follow-up was previously a pre-sale lead in autoplay, well then you can view that lead to refresh your memory on the previous customer interaction. Once you're familiar with the follow-up required, you can make contact with the customer and then mark the event as complete. Doing so will export this back to the DMS and automatically trigger the next follow-up required. It's also possible to convert a prospect to a lead. This gives dealerships a fantastic new way to measure the effectiveness of their CRM follow-up and prospecting activity via a new prospect conversion report. At present, this function only works with integration with selected DMS providers and costs an additional $200 per month. If you're interested in this new functionality, just give us a call on 09 3611 505 and discuss your options. With the new CRM follow-up and prospect screen comes the ability to close to prospect when closing a lead is lost. When you close a lead is lost, it's not common to follow up other than live leads email campaigns. With the new close to prospect function, you can downgrade the lead to a prospect or CRM follow-up to manage in that new screen. This will stop colder leads from cluttering up the lead dashboard, but still allow salespeople to schedule future follow-ups. A while ago, we introduced a test drive kiosk mode to accompany our stands and desktop kiosks. This function allowed users to share a single login, but after some feedback, we've made a few changes to make it even easier to use. When logged in as a kiosk, you can click New Test Drive to start loading a test drive form. By choosing a user, you'll be able to add a test drive to another user's lead. After searching for an existing customer, the sales pipeline will show you any leads already loaded against them. Tapping on this lead will give you a preview of the lead, but by tapping on the plus symbol, you can add a new test drive to this customer. Kiosk mode enables users to select a different vehicle to test drive without modifying the lead. It's ideal for when the salesperson that the customer previously dealt with is not available. In 17.1, it's now possible to scan driver's licenses as well as business cards. To do so, just tap on the camera icon as usual and you'll see a toggle that allows you to switch between scanning a business card or a driver's license. Scanning the license will populate the customer's name and provided you go straight on to creating the test drive immediately, well, it'll also store the customer's license details and photo. If you choose to scan the driver's license from the test drive form, this will both populate the license details and the photo of the license against the test drive form, saving you from having to scan and take a photo separately. If you're interested in taking advantage of this new functionality, please contact support at autoplay.co.nz. Recently, we've been getting a lot of requests to customise the compulsory fields when loading a new lead. The default that Autoplay prefer is that you need the customer name and at least one method of contact from either email, phone and mobile. But in 17.1, it's now possible for Autoplay to customise which fields you want as compulsory when loading a new lead. This needs to be set up by Autoplay, but it won't cost a cent. To request a custom setup, please email support at autoplay.co.nz along with which fields from the new lead screen that you want to be compulsory. 
Thanks for watching and make sure you update your apps to the latest version. You can read the rest of the release notes to find out more about all the changes that we've made in 17.1. If you have any questions about the latest release, please contact our support team on support at autoplay.co.nz.